Hey everybody, it's your boy Press Pits Zero One. Welcome back to another AEW action figure review. Today we're gonna to be opening up the good old Lance Archer for hashtag 53 in series seven. So uh, I'm kind of excited to get this dude open. I'm a, I'm a. You, you can say I'm a huge Lance Archer fan. I think he's a cool wrestler. I feel like he could definitely be the next world champion. And uh, of course, this happened in the classic pay per view of. Double or nothing in 2020 in my hometown of Jacksonville. Fantastic. So, um, I do have Lance Archer. I do have both of FTR and the Young Bucks. And I decided to skip Nyla Rose because I have nothing against Nyla Rose. It's just that I'm not a fan of her or he, whatever his, you know, when he, whatever identifies her or him, he, I don't know, so... I don't want to be associating with that, just being honest. So, enough talking. Let's open this guy up. Lance Archer. I'll tell you what, I don't know why. I, don't, I, I honestly have no idea why he hasn't been on TV. He's just, he. this guy has so much potential of being an AEW World Champion or being the TNT Champion. It doesn't matter. Like, I get it that Tony Khan is a huge fan of, you know, small guy wrestlers. But you gotta give your big wrestlers a chance, you know? You gotta make them dream big or not so much of dream big but you know i'm just saying not to agree with me i'm just i'm just saying but you know lance archer is the cool guy and hopefully you get another hopefully they'll make more action figures of him because he's a pretty cool dude so you got him screaming he's got his long little ponytail going on he's got a cross on the back you know that's kind of nice i don't know about the flaming part but you know or maybe it might represent as the light might be religious who knows then you get this little starry sun right here you got some i think that's supposed to be like a barbed wire tattoo thing going on i could be wrong on that he does has tattoos going all the way all the way down to his wrist don't know what it says in cursive because i'm not a cursive kind of guy so honestly this figure is a pretty d decent figure he can split his legs about this much but not all the way he definitely bend his knees pretty well, his left and right knee. You got his classic logo right here of the skull with his little red mullet going on. Supposed to represent the uh, everybody dies uh, quote for his, uh, for his entrance if you heard of it before. He's a pretty interesting dude, I will say as much. He does not come with any interchangeable hands or nothing, which is kind of sad. Or a t-shirt, which might be kind of like a little bit useful. Um... This also spins around as well. This also spins around as well. Yep. Yep, there you go. See, there's the quote I'm talking about. It says it right there on his legs. Everybody dies, and then you got the monster hop, or murder murder monster going on there. Yeah, so if I was Tony Khan, I would definitely give this guy more TV time. Just don't let him fight any jobbers. Just let him fight like Darby Allen or John Moxley, even though he has, but... You know, like, fight, make, make him fight Samoa Joe. We haven't seen these two gone against each other. And by the way, I have reviewed uh, Samoa Joe, by the way. Please check that out. What I'm saying is Lance Archer has so much potential. I mean, he does. He really, really has so much potential. Like, you can't leave this guy out of here. And yes, this does pop off a little bit loose easily. If you want to switch his attire to something else, you can. Which makes it kind of the cool part. But I'll still keep everything else attached. Let's see if we get any angle pivot up in here. Uh, kind of. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad angle pivot. That's kind of a close call, I will say. Not bad. So uh, I think that's about it on your boy Lance Archer. Uh, hopefully we get more action figures of him. I know we got him in the Unrivaled Series 7. So with the Young Bucks and... Um, Good old Dax and what what's his other guy's name? Dax and Hardwood, I think. Dax and Hardwood, I think. I don't know. I mean, I do know, but you know, the brain just kind of like wants to go throughout different places. But it's okay. But anyways, I hope we see this guy more on TV, and hopefully, he goes after some championship gold. As a matter of fact, Hangman on a page, if I don't mind, just reviewed him. Let's just put this championship on him, just 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 to make him feel a more appreciative. There we go. Perfect. This is the guy you should represent for your show. Just saying. 
But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.